All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your stock market recap for today. And well, I wanted to wait a little bit to see what happened with Brexit, but I felt I had to put this out there so you guys could at least know what to watch for. We'll cover it tonight in the watch list. So make sure you are subscribed for that as well, too. I'm going to post that around seven or eight. And, well, we have a lot to talk about. I want to go over today. I want to compare the last time the Fed spoke today. You know, we had the FOMC minutes. Recap what went on, um, what's going on right now with EU and the UK and the Brexit. And we've been following up with that. So, and, and just talk in general of what to even expect coming into this next week. And now earnings. This is classic textbook straight from the stock trading boot camp equal and opposite reactions when we get into it so you guys are going to see but a lot of interesting moves today uh middle of the week and going forward we have a lot more to look for so like the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on that if you like this content and also check out the stock trading channel it's pinned in the comments it's in the description but we're live monday through friday 30 minutes before open <laughs> i feel i'm brainwashing you guys with that but let's get into it first things first is the individual events there was moves uh bed bath and beyond did beat after hours and they actually improved guidance who would have thought Bed Bath & Beyond is uh, popping like that, and, and they're expecting uh, to do more sales. But uh, what actually went around, you know, even today, you know, China was a mixed bag. And then we actually saw the China stocks, Baidu, Baba, we've been putting those on the watch list. They moved interesting. But the main story was the FOMC. That's when we saw the markets move as far as Brexit goes. And, you know, this morning we had the ECB, which was the European Central Bank. And it was all pretty swell and everything was going all right. And this is the euro, not the pound. We've usually been bringing up the pound to look in regards to Brexit. And the pound made some moves and responded good when they had some stuff go on. And we're, I'll talk about that next. But the euro dropped after Mario Draghi. That's like the, the Jay Powell uh, of, the, of the ECB, of, of the EU. And he... Um, it was pretty good until he said something about along the lines of doing whatever it takes and that kind of was a little too dovish signaling some economic slowdown or economic worries and that's what people were looking for in the minutes that we had and then uh the pound before that was in the morning and then right away next was the we, you could see it within the pound but Theresa may they went to the the meeting i believe it was in brussels um for the eu the summit to present the uh you know, I don't know, is that an agreement? The Yes, a proposal. She submitted her pretty much her proposal and presented it to ask for an extension for Brexit. And that wrapped up and it looks like they were accepting it. They said they took it in and they're going to be voting on it. However, uh, Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, he's kind of indecided. You could watch his Twitter. That's what, So that's the news I was going to wait for to see because now apparently she's going to have dinner with these people and go around. But they need the approval of everybody and so far publicly it seems that france is the only one not down with it so watch that uh you can watch his twitter so everyone people were saying it's in french but he could uh he, he's tweeting from there now so that's a good way to kind of monitor that situation beyond uh other news outlets but a lot of people are covering this to the minute so that still presents a risk but it's pretty much off the table i think they're gonna get it and it's gonna lead to the may 22nd uh or I believe the May 22nd Brexit uh, or June 1st, something something along those lines. There's that. Uh, Bitcoin skyrocketed after the minutes. So now let's get into the minutes. Uh, this came out around 11, uh, right around here, right? Or two? Yeah, 11 my time, one, two, your guys' time. Um, is that it? No, when was it? Was it right here? Because I think it was, yeah, it was right here actually. No, yeah, it was a very small uh, move but at the beginning but then we saw it bounce up and it started to move coming into to power hour but you know the markets didn't react too much i would even not say this was a reaction and the next part is gauging this is going to be watching tomorrow uh you have to see how the market digests digest this you guys remember the kbb strategy but going back 14 days this was the last time the fed and this was an active meeting so they actively you know enacted policy which was do nothing but the change in powell's tone remember he was so dovish it dropped the rates it had an effect on the dollar amongst other things and that led to the curve flattening and then the markets reacted because the bonds were saying this so on and so forth we were you guys could go back literally two weeks in time on the videos we have the, the daily recaps and you can see how that even developed day by day so that's even the benefit of documenting it here but it 
it came down and then you know the market digested it after a few days and had other stimulus to then bring it up this is what i'm saying equal and opposite reaction so here it did kind of something similar as today but i would say the real big difference it was a lot smaller um uh, on a much much smaller scale uh, even all the way down to volume so let's see how the market reacts tomorrow and the next day but tomorrow's going to get give us a better idea of what they're taking from the fed but they gave a, a lot of the projections were in line there was no surprises they did say that they're, it's kind of a neutral approach. They said that they're, they're, they're up to do anything and they're open to changes. So it, it's at the same time, though, looking it just it expect the market was expecting it because it fell just in line with what they were saying prior. So there was nothing from January uh, in, in the last meeting that gave them too big of a shocker. So that was fairly decent. Again, nothing to make the market spark, but enough to now give that market that last confirmation it could come above like i said if brexit goes good the next thing is earnings and coming into that so we saw bed bath and beyond you're seeing some moves uh boeing dropped today and that dropped the dow and the dow actually i don't know if this is after hours but i i don't think but if it closed green that's great the vix got crushed finally which is positive again and we, you'll see the confirmation tomorrow apple had a pretty weird day it came back up though ended up closing positive but uh boeing we're, we're going to watch how that plays out. I'm going to cover all these in the watch list, but that was pretty much it. You know, again, Boeing and, and watch for China coming into the week, but coming into this week, it's going to be seeing how the markets react these next two days. Watch the dollar bond rates. Watch this Brexit situation coming here as this night develops. And then, you know, we'll give you more updates here on the watch list and coming into tomorrow. But for the most part, the next level, the next events to be keeping an eye out for there might be other external political events that could arise with stuff like Russia or even oil. And you guys are seeing how those markets are moving. Uh, oil actually, oil has been going crazy. So uh, there's been discrepancies too, even between oil and gasoline. So for all you oil guys, take a look into that. But uh, not Apple, um, earnings though. So, you know, the next, the next big thing is look at earnings. You know, all these companies are shifting into this. You know, we are going to get the buyout blackout, but that doesn't necessarily mean negativity i know again watch what these companies are doing watch what these or these first set of earnings are telling us we have the banks wells fargo made an interesting move uh and that's pretty much it if there was anything i missed let me know uh, as far as the individual stocks we're going to cover that uh, on the watch list as far as the plays but i want to give you guys a broader market view let you know why the stock market it ended up closing green but barely and really how, what, what this fomc was how to interpret that and all the events of today and what was the result and hopefully you guys see a lot of a lot of anticipation but a lot of really nothing but that's the event hitting now watch the after effect and digestion and let's see what this day could be and what it even means from a, a, a pivotal standpoint so i'm gonna leave it there i love you guys Drop a subscription, drop a like. I will see you tonight on the watch list. Let's go.